Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and this is the hardware tour of the HTC HD2. The device comes with this leather pouch, which does a really good job at protecting the device, although at first it's extremely tight. Another small problem with the pouch is that it's hard to get the device out. You can squeeze from the bottom, which will probably turn on the device accidentally. You can see that now. Or you can kind of try to pull it out from the top, although there's no really no real easy way to do this. You've got to kind of force your fingers down here and pull. Maybe as the case gets a little bit looser, uh, this won't be as big of an issue. So let's take out the device. Absolutely gorgeous device. Every time I take it out of the case, I'm amazed over and over again. Let's zoom into the top here and talk about what we have. Up here, we have a proximity sensor, which will turn on and off the display when you're on a call. To the right of that is a light sensor, and to the right of that is an LED indicator light, which is always great to have, so you don't have to turn on your device to see if you have a new message. You can just glance at it and see if there's a blinking light. Here's the speaker grill, and then if we go down the phone, we just see how the screen goes from edge to edge, and there's really very little uh, bezel on the side. So let's go down to these buttons. These buttons have a fantastic brushed metal finish to them. So if I move it in the light, you'll kind of see that. There are five of them. On the left is Call Start. This is Home, Start Menu, OK Back, and this is actually the Standby button. They didn't put the Standby button on the top, as they've been doing for several generations of devices now. And it actually makes a lot of sense, because now you can turn on the device with one hand which, without having to hold the device press up here. So we can tap that and it'll turn on the screen. We'll cover software in a future video. None of these buttons are programmable, by the way. If you go into the settings, you can't change the function of any of them. Let's talk a little bit more about this screen. Obviously, it's a capacitive multi-touch screen, which is the first for Windows Mobile. It is 800 by 480 resolution, which is WVGA. The clarity is fantastic. The, the contrast is terrific. The screen is made out of glass. I know a lot of people were asking about that. Um, in terms of sensitivity, it's not as sensitive as the iPhone. It's probably within the same realm as the HTC Hero and other HTC Android devices that have a capacitive display. What's interesting is that the screen sensitivity is not too different than, say, an HTC Touch Pro. In fact, I'd say that the HD2 has about 20-25% increased screen sensitivity. Where you really notice the change to capacitive is how the screen feels. Of course, on the Touch Pro 2, you get a little bit of a sunken in uh, feel when you, you press on the screen because it's resistive. It requires pressure. But on the capacitive display, since it's made out of glass, you get no sort of mushiness. It's a very firm screen, which feels pretty good uh, when you're moving around in the operating system. Obviously, this device doesn't have a stylus because it is a capacitive touch screen, and styli don't work on capacitive touch screens, or at least most of them that are out there. Let's take a look around the rest of the device. On this side, we have the volume rocker. On the bottom, we have 3.5 millimeter audio, which is great, and a micro USB port for charging and syncing. And this is quite a deviation from HTC's EXT USB port, which they've been using for a really long time now. But this is a more standardized port, and so we're glad they switched. And here is a microphone. On the other side, there is nothing except the little notch that you use to open the back battery cover, which is pretty challenging, by the way. And up here on the top, again, there is nothing. A very clean design. They obviously wanted to make it all about the screen, and it really is. Let's turn over to the back and zoom in a little bit. Up here on the top, we have the speaker grill, the 5 megapixel camera, and the dual LED flash. We're going to talk about photo quality in the upcoming review. Now, kind of a problem is that the edges for this camera are extremely sharp. In fact, so sharp that if you have it face down on a table or, or on its back and you move the phone, you may actually cut into the surface a little bit if it's kind of a soft wood texture or even something like this. Uh, very weird design having that be so sharp. Hopefully it's not too big of an issue. This back battery cover is real metal. It's brushed metal and if you move it in the light you can kind of see how beautiful it is. And it says HTC and then with HTC Sense. TouchFlow 3D is now called HTC Sense. And as mentioned in the unboxing, this area and this area has that nice soft rubbery feel to it. So it really feels uh, secure in hand when you're holding it. So that was a look at the hardware on the HTC HD2. The hardware is absolutely beautiful. The build quality is fantastic. And you know, it's not so big to where it feels bulky in your pocket. That's the biggest surprise of all. It is very pocketable. We'll be back soon with a lot more on the HTC HD2. That's it for now.